I think Live Wire really sparked my interest in music more than anything else in my life has. I think it's more than changed, it's sort of almost like defined the, the musician I am now and kind of the person I am now as well. It taught me how to write songs properly, it taught me how to play guitar properly. Pretty much everyone I've played with has had some involvement with Live Wire. <laughs> Livewire is a community um, music project for young people from ages 12 to 22. There's the Tuesday sessions at the Castle Green, there's Livewire Central and then there's also the more bespoke uh, sessions that we do for PRU units and schools. The great thing about Livewire is there's no um, kind of entry ability so we'll have people who have never played an instrument, like literally never picked up an instrument before and then people who are grade 8 violinists. Any given ability that they come in with, we have to make it work, you know, they have to have a victory over the week. So I learnt new chords and things like that and then from that it got me into different uh, kind of tastes of music. Practicing away from home, it's like a second place to practice where there's nobody to judge you and no hate. Livewire was the first musical project that I actually got involved in and um, it taught me how to perform because I'd only ever written things in my bedroom. So it taught me that really important point of being a musician. Before I came to Livewire, I would be too scared to, well not scared, but like nervous to go down like an alleyway and busk, but now I'm like up for it, I would like to do that. One thing we've, we've always tried to do with the project right from the start is, is differentiate it from something you might do at school where you're maybe trying to learn grades or a very specific thing. So our, our kind of message on the first day that we want to get over to the young people is um, whatever you want to do, we will try and make it happen. We always try and do is make the young people kind of feel comfortable. For a lot of them, uh, you know, it could be their first time ever at Livewire, they might not know each other. So a big part of it is kind of the start of the day is always kind of about having fun really and creating that kind of relaxed environment where they're going to enjoy um, thinking about music, talking about music and also feel comfortable to kind of be creative and try ideas. If you've just started playing, there's somebody that can show you how to play and teach you songs and there's never going to be a point where they're going to, anybody's going to judge you or criticise the way you play. About two years ago we recorded an album at KJM. So we kind of got uh, everything that everyone had written from the week and just kind of condensed it into a day <laughs> of mental recording. And after that we got to see sort of almost like the behind the scenes we got to see the sort of workings of the studio and... And I think to come away with even a track or two on, on a CD is just, it's a really good feeling, so... It's a great way to express how you feel through music. Livewire, I think, provides opportunities for gigs. For almost every band that performs, um, there's one, maybe two of us workshop leaders in the band. Um, and, and that's mainly because performing um, can be a really vulnerable experience. We always want someone to get up on stage, have an amazing time and come off with all that kind of enthusiasm and adrenaline that you get from doing a really good performance. It's amazing for, for your confidence. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. Two minutes after we got back from Cornwall, I was like, Dad, I'm going to the gig. I'm going to the gig. <laughs> Our ethos has always been that it needs to be a professional gig. So when the young people's parents or friends come along, it, it's not like, uh, oh, they're kids, uh, well done, I'm going to clap them just because it's kids playing instruments. It's like, they're blown away. Like, that was amazing. And then the afterthought is, and that guy's only 12 years old. A lot of the time, the lyrical content we get them to write will be based around experiences and things that they've been through in their life. And when you see you know, a 13-year-old singing about something absolutely terrible that they've been through in their life with real heart and, you know, real musicianship. It's absolutely incredible. There's nothing fake about it. There's nothing, um, do you know what I mean, manufactured about it. It's not X Factor. It's not them singing covers. It's them singing about their lives. And really, it is absolutely breathtaking at times. 
I probably wouldn't be doing music if I hadn't come to Livewire. It's definitely something I want to do for the rest of my life. I've made some of the best friends I've ever made at Livewire. <laughs> Drums are expensive, cymbals are expensive, like all these things are expensive. If you can come and have a try like every week, you know, you're going to get something out of it. That's important. If I didn't get to play as much as I do at Livewire, or if I didn't have the opportunities I do because of Livewire, I definitely wouldn't have segued into university or want to become a musician full time in my life. Livewire is life changing, uh, life defining, life making. Yeah, I, I, I can't say it in two words. <laughs>